our story begins with an execution. The shinobi Gabimaru the Hollow has been captured by the shogunate and has been sentenced to death for the crime of treason. Blades can't cut him, fire can't burn him, and even pulling him limb from limb was met with failure. Gabimaru had attempted to leave the shinobi village with his wife and in turn walked into a trap set by the chief. He was captured by the shogunate and set to die for his crimes. With nobody capable enough to kill him, the shogunate turned to the Saimon family of executioners, masters of the blade who specialize in killing criminals with one clean stroke. Gabimaru is assigned Yamada Asaimon Sagiri, the only woman amongst the Asaimon executioners. During his time in captivity, Gabimaru is interrogated by Sagiri and repeatedly claims that he desires death. Yet, every attempted execution was met with unconscious resistance. From her experience as an executioner, Sagiri claims Gabimaru is only lying to himself about wanting to die, and the truth is that he wanted to escape the life of a shinobi and live happily with his wife. Gabimaru resists the notion with all his might, as he still clings to the moniker of Gabimaru the Hollow. He had climbed through mountains of corpses and rivers of blood for the sake of the village, and deep down, doesn't feel that he deserves a happy life. It's at this moment that Sagiri offers him a glimpse of salvation. Sagiri tells him a tale of Nirvana, a mythical place devoid of any suffering that houses the elixir of eternal life. This fairy tale is familiar to Gabimaru, but only as a fairy tale, not as a real place that actually exists. Yet, Sagiri claims the shogunate has found it, and that she wants to recruit Gabimaru for an expedition to the island. Out of all of the men previously sent to the island, only their disfigured bodies have returned, leading to the recruitment of death row convicts for the next expedition. The reward for returning with the elixir is a full pardon along with permanent protection from the shogunate. Thus, Sagiri asks, Are you attached to your life with her, O Gabimaru the Hollow? Gabimaru is enlightened and accepts the burning desire within his heart, vowing to return alive to the wife he loves so dearly. And that's the end of chapter one. As you can see from the first chapter of the manga, Hell's Paradise is basically Suicide Squad meets Fortnite meets Edo period Japan. We have a collection of death row convicts who undertake deadly missions for the chance at a pardon. They're dropped off at an island and have to compete against the other convicts in a battle of survival, where finding the elixir of life grants them that number one victory royale. The premise of the manga is pretty straightforward, but that doesn't mean the plot is lacking in the slightest. Each character on the island has their own complex backstories and motivations, and as the story progresses, we see how these elements shape their actions and decisions. Gabi Maru's journey to find the elixir of life is driven by his desire for redemption and a chance to start over, which is excellent character writing, and the world of Hell's Paradise itself is beautiful to behold. The manga uses a lot of Taoist and Buddhist imagery, which adds this really mystical vibe to the entire story. All in all, the manga was a great read, so I expect the anime to do really well next season. If you don't read a lot of manga, you might not know that Hell's Paradise is a part of the big three of Dark Shonen. This group refers to Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man, and Hell's Paradise. And that tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the Hell's Paradise anime. 
you can expect to see the standard shonen formula with all the mature themes found in its counterparts. Besides sharing themes, the big three of Dark Shonen also share the same studio, with MAPPA set to release Hell's Paradise in April of 2023. This basically guarantees the same level of quality as Chainsaw Man, so expect to see stunning animation and action-packed fight scenes. Long story short, if you like those anime, there's an extremely high chance you'll like Hell's Paradise too. Personally, I feel Hell's Paradise is the most unique story of the three, which works to its benefit most of the time. I rate it about the same as I rate Jujutsu Kaisen, which is pretty damn good. Now, Chainsaw Man gets a higher rating specifically for that full page Makima spread from chapter 43. It's a good page. On a serious note, this is one of my most anticipated anime of 2023, and I'm predicting that Hell's Paradise could even rival Chainsaw Man in terms of popularity, so make sure not to miss this one. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and comment down below what you think about Hell's Paradise. Will it be a massive success, or will it fail to live up to the hype? Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm your host Taylor, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Jump Report. Number one victory royale, yeah, Fortnite we bout to get down. get down. Ten kills on the board right now, just wiped out Tomato Town. My friend just got down.